Hey everybody, it's Peter from the Kia Hyundai channel. Today, in this Kia Hyundai class, we're gonna talk about high beam assist. Now we happen to have a Kia Seltos behind us. We can use several of our cars, but what is that? Basically, your car can automatically turn on and off its high beams based on what it sees through the camera up there. Lots going on here. There's a few things that really confused me, so I wanna make sure that you guys understand how to use it before you need to use it, so you know how to turn it on and off and make it work. Let's go take a look. All right, so we're in the 2022 Kia Seltos. It could be any number of vehicles. In this video, we're gonna show you if your vehicle has this, how to find out if your vehicle has it. We're gonna show you how to activate it, how not to activate it, and also how to turn it off. When I say how not to activate it, there are times where people do not want this feature to activate, so we'll cover that. So this is gonna be your full complete lesson, just a couple minutes, here we go. Before we get going, I just wanna mention we are indoors today, so the vehicle is set to on, but it has not been started. That's why you're gonna see these warning lights. Don't worry too much about that. So let's figure out if your vehicle has this auto high beam system. And the way you do that is, instead of turning your headlight system to the full on position right there, I want you to turn it just to the auto position. These here are your fog lights. If your vehicle has them, doesn't matter if they're on or off, but set your vehicle uh, to the auto system there. And now you can see all those green lights in your dash. That indicates your headlights are full headlight system is on those green lights. Now we're gonna push this lever away from me. So I'm gonna push it away from me like that and you'll see a brand new light comes on in the dash. It is the auto light right there. What that means is your car has the system. Now, if you're in a daylight type situation like I am, or if there's lots of street lights around, or if there's vehicles in front of you, or uh, vehicles away from you, or if you're going too slow, your high beams will not turn on in the auto setting. So this, although it's not very clear, my high beams are not on. Now, how do you turn them on? Uh, first of all, the car will decide in the auto setting when they need to be turned on. So if you just wanna drive down a country road and you're happy with letting the car decide, which in most cases I am, you're gonna see that your headlights turn on and off and it will look something like this. See, high beams on, high beams off, high beams on, high beams off. So that's how that works. And if you still wanna flash to pass, or uh, that's what they call flash to pass, you can still pull this towards you and you can see your blue light comes on in your dash right there. Uh, I'm holding that uh, lever towards me right now, but the auto stays on. So that's an option to, again, just flash to pass, pull it towards me, push it away. Now, the question comes, what happens if I find that I'm not satisfied with how it's turning on or off? How do I actually turn this system off? Now, a lot of people have resorted to just turning the system off like that, which means all your lights turn off, which is not ideal, and then turning it back on. And that is one way to go about doing it. You'll see that auto light is gone. I recommend you do it a different way. So we're gonna push it away from us to turn it on. And then what we're gonna do is push it away and pull it towards us. Pushing it away turns your high beams on. It overrides the system and turns your high beams on and pull it away from us. So again, to turn them on, let it in the auto setting, watch my hands. I'm gonna push it away and then immediately pull it back. And yes, that does flash your high beams, but it does not turn your um, rear lights off. Now, if you just don't want the auto high beams at all, it's very simple. You just take this lever here and you turn it all the way to the regular headlights. When you're on the regular headlights instead of the auto setting, uh, a couple things will happen. You'll notice that um, it just works like normal. So again, we'll go wide angle again here. You'll see me, actually, it's, that's too wide. Let's go this way. If you see my hands there, if I push away from me, it's on, push away from me, uh, sorry, pull towards me and it's off and that just stays normal. So it works like your older system was. So if you want the auto high beams, you're gonna leave it in the auto setting. And again, uh, push it away from you. They will be turned on and off as necessary, determined by the car itself. And if you want to turn them off, you're going to push away, pull towards you, and that's it. We do Kia Hyundai classes like this all the time. These are short videos to explain the features on your car. We also go live from this video bay every single weekday for about a half an hour going over vehicles in detail. New vehicles, Kia or Hyundai vehicles. If this was helpful to you, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you tell your friends. And feel free to turn in, tune in for our live videos every weekday, 2 o'clock Eastern time. You can join us as we go through a vehicle. Thanks everybody for watching.